Welcome back to the channel guys, this is Always Looking for Adventure, you're watching us on YouTube. Alright, so today we're back on our Banshee project. I actually did some homework looking into this, um, but the throttle override system. Here's a wire harness for you guys. And as I was running all my wiring, since I've gone to the different carburetor, um, I've gone to a McKinley, a McCooney 34 mil flat. So I'll actually be going away from the stock carburetor, which means all this stuff, uh, it's still attached for the, for the throttle override system. All that can go away. Um, I've watched a handful of videos seeing what guys have done to figure out whether it's got to be spliced or not. I looked at the wiring diagrams and I'm pretty sure I have a pretty good idea of what needs to happen in order for all this to go away. And luckily, I actually do have all the components for the stock tour system. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to hook those up, show you guys which clips go where. Um, you can't really mix and match them, they're, they're their own thing, so uh, I figured I'd take a second and help everybody out on the wiring end if you need it, if you're dealing with this. Uh, I figured by now, probably 99.9% .9 of all Banshees have probably deleted this. I don't think there's a lot of guys running the stock system anymore, um, just with all the updated carburetors and things that people do to them. Um, for all I know, this is the last one on the face of the earth that still has it. So I'm going to clear some space. I'm going to dig up some components. And I'm going to show you guys just what what's getting removed on this. Um, that's actually kind of a, a bummer. I re-taped my whole line and I got into it. And then I got looking and remembered I forgot to delete it before I d did that. So uh, we're going to untape our whole harness we'll go through clean up the wiring we don't need um, it really minimalizes them and then you also have down here next to your coil you'll have a solenoid that you don't need um, a solenoid up in the throttle body you don't need so up on the handlebar side but yeah we'll uh we'll get a spot cleaned up real quick and We'll show you guys exactly what what this will look like uh, when it's all all cleaned up, and we'll go from there. So I can also kind of go through and show you guys what goes where as far as wiring and what needs to stay based on your unit and what you run. Um, if there is anything that needs to be spliced together, I can show you that as well. So. Um, yeah, we're going to get after it, and today we're going to be going through the wire harness uh, and highlighting on the throttle override system and how to delete it if you need to um, and what what that might look like. So thanks, guys, and we'll, we'll get, get on it. Okay, guys, so I've got you set up on the workbench here. Um, and... We're going to be going through and explaining what all of these individual ends do. I'm going to have to unpeel this tape, so we'll probably go time lapse here for a minute um, just to get that all done, save us some time. Now I'll show you guys the harness itself where it's exposed with wire coloring. Now I can kind of walk you through what exactly that's going to look like. So that's where it's at. Um, I don't have loads of room because I've got parts and stuff strung out everywhere. So hopefully this view is decent enough. Um, I can show you. This is the top of your harness. There we go. This back here is our stator port where it connects to the motor. And back here is our light, our voltage regulator, and our CDI. So that's the end of our harness from the rear. Working our way forward center that's the front up near the handlebars underneath the gas tank so uh, hopefully that's a good enough visual for you guys 
um, as we had it laid out on the, they, on the frame before. So um, I'll kick that off and we'll go through, untape all this, get down to the guts and, and we'll be back. Here is the wiring schematic breakdown. Sorry, it's kind of a mess. So we have the OEM handlebar kill switch and light dimmer plugged in. These are the round plugs, so these are pre-97. We have our key switch. Um, I'm trying to decide. I may be getting rid of mine. I know if I get rid of it, I'll have to splice this plug down line somewhere. Um, or I may be running an aftermarket switch to it. But for now, we're just going to leave it for stock purposes. Um, so you have your key, red and black. You have your switch and dimmers, which is all these fancy guys. And then you've got your coil, your orange and black. Mine's currently mounted. So we'll, uh, we'll leave that. I did plug in one headlight. There's two. Um, so the headlight is your your double ground, your black and yellows. Okay, 
this is all the stuff we're getting rid of over here. So we have the solenoid for the throttle override system. You have the carb tops, which plug into here and here. And then you have the throttle linkage that sits coming out of your port next to your cable and down your handlebar. So, um, guys, basically, all these are going away. Um, if you trace the black, you can find they come all the way back to here. Uh, my understanding is that these are basically a kill switch, so um, I don't believe by getting rid of these and just sealing it up, it should be no issue just to cut it right here. And uh, there's a couple more there. So I, I believe if we trace these all back, it should just be able to clip them right there, retape them, and call it a day. I do actually have some interest in rerunning this entire wire harness from here back to the back uh, just to clean it all up. So there's a couple things we'll look at. Um, I'm just going to cut them right at the, right at the joint so there's no question. And then I'll make sure that's all sealed up. Get it all back in purpose as if it was never even there to begin with, other than some extra copper in the line. So that's my plan. Um, I want to clean this up as much as possible. And I think you guys will see that it actually takes a lot of headache out of your way. Um, I've already got one done on my dad's banshee here. Uh, and it, it cleans it up quite a bit. So that's our hope. Um, we'll just run these all the way back to point of wire and ditch the entire thing. Um, I, I don't think there's any purpose or I don't know why anybody would actually go back to these unless they're just trying to do an original. In that case, um, if you need them, let me know. Um, I'm happy to part with them because they'll probably just end up going in the garbage, honestly. So, um, that is where we're at. There's some really good schematics on on Google that'll pop up for you. Um, your scheme from from here over you've got yellow and black is your major um, there's a black and white that tie in and looks like this one's just black maybe so anyways we're just going to trace those back to point of contact ditch them all leave the wire harness the same without them and then we'll get it retaped up and I can show you guys how to test those with a couple spark plugs. It's pretty straightforward just by plugging in your CDI, plugging in your stator and your coil. Um, this one's not hooked up to a handlebar right now, so um, the ground switch probably wouldn't work for the off position. Um, but when I get there, if, even if it's in another video, I can show you guys the layout on how that works. Um, or I can staple it back in on the back end of this one if I get there quick enough. So, yeah, that's where it's at. We're going to take all them. We're going to clip them out. And that is your Taurus system. And like I said, I believe based on wiring, these should just be set up is a kill switch where they power to ground so um, if they malfunction through the solenoid itself so I'm pretty sure there's no soldering involved I'll cut these out and give you guys a rundown of where we're at when we get to that point
There's one. And then, like I said, guys, that leaves me with my kill switch, my coil power, and my key. So, get those all squared away. That's how that breaks down. From there, our other headlights there. We got a white and black that ties in right here under this white tape. Okay, and as you can see, that parts off and goes back to your harness or back to the solenoid there. We're just going to take and cut that one. Okay, so the way those are all daisy together. We're back to I believe there's just one more now underneath this black wire. We'll get this out of our way. And guys, if I needed to um, ever do that on the opposite side, what I'd end up doing is I would just take and I would solder those back in. So I can show you how to do that probably sometime down the road. I'm sure there's something we'll need. Okay, and this one has two. So, we'll go back to here, back to there, and two of these are coming out. So, we'll get this all situated, hopefully, if we can find it. There we go. white tape there okay so we have this guy here that guy here and those two are headlights so we're gonna I'm gonna leave me two of these long in the event not super long in the event that I decide to run some aftermarket wiring I believe I can tie into those so I'm just going to leave those a little bit longer than the rest unplug this guy Unplug this guy. Okay, so there you have it, guys. There is a harness 
minus a torus system. Um, so we'll go ahead and we'll tape those back up here, here, there. Um, make sure those are all sealed up and you know what guys I lied if I'm gonna do a lighting thing I will tie it in elsewhere then back here just to clean it all up we can solder in that stuff later if we get if we do that so I changed my mind um, but yeah there's our connections we got that to our lights we got that there's a way to check that is basically there's no left open circuits now minus those so pretty positive that'll get us what we need um, as far as the kill switch unit and whatnot so I believe that should be the entire clip to cutting the wiring out on your tour system like I said uh, we can double check that really quick here by there's a plug there plug there plug here I did unplug these to get this all back pulled and fed so so there you have it solenoid so the four plugs throttle all that's going away so we'll ditch that for now anyway uh, we will end up retaping this guy I may end up going all the way back to here just to make sure I have enough on my volt voltage regulator but uh, guys yeah We'll tape that back up and get her all lined out and show you guys where we end up. Alright guys, I got some white electrical tape. I'm going to hit up those joints that we cut out um, earlier just to separate them, make sure they're isolated. And then we're going to retape the whole harness as you can see. So. We get that set up and laid out, and we will be on our way. If you guys have any questions, comments, oh look, had some wiring get burned there. So, anyways, if you guys got any questions for me on what that looks like, or if you're digging into your own, have questions, holler at me. Um, super simple, I know. I didn't give you guys the wire harness. I can drop a link in the description uh, for the one I used. Like I said, if you Google them, they're pretty straightforward. There's a handful of them to choose from. So uh, I just actually used the first one that popped up on Google and I didn't even use it in out here. I guess I've Hopefully played with enough wiring that that's not a mistake, but um, I just studied mine out, but um, And went from there, but yeah guys if you got questions for me like I say I'll drop the link to that in the description and if Questions comments concerns throw them at me And like I said once you're all plugged in if you leave your spark plugs out and rest them on top of your head or um, touch them off to a bolt 
if you have a friend who's really daring, which is usually what I do, I make him hold it. <laughs> uh, you, hopefully you know him well, and they may not appreciate it, but it's worth a laugh later, and hopefully they don't get shocked. But. Okay, there's one, there's two. Like I said, guys, I would love to actually take and build a wire harness. And I may do that in the future when I need some content. Um, as I mentioned before, maybe add some extra lighting to on or however but for now for what we're doing um, this is a good stock overview of like how you can clean up what you got and if you're getting rid of that tour system what what you're looking for so um, the way I did it was pretty straightforward I was able to follow the plug straight back I knew that I had all the tour system plugged in, so I knew where they went. Um, so there was no question on what I was actually cutting out. And that's something I'd probably suggest, whether you're doing it on the bike, off the bike. Make sure you know what is going where in relation to your sensors and your wiring before you go cutting away at it um, that's the best advice I can give and if you don't know ask somebody who has either done it or figured it out see if you can save yourself the hassle so there's that Okay, white tape covering my terminals. I believe that's all the ones I uncovered. So, um, we will go as follows for that. These two. Uh, go together, so. And another thing guys I'd recommend is keep these as clean as possible. I am a big fan of clean so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take and every, uh, every couple inches I'm just going to take and make sure that my joints where I have stuff coming out of the harness make sure those are all dialed in closed up and probably again afterwards just so I know where my split in the tape is going to be that should help clean up all the joints so it'll lay something like so uh, like I said I'll be going back over these with white tape I've got a black one there but Throwing a white on the back side just to make sure I know where my bearings are. Hit that. Okay. Um, the 
those all just flop out the end, so we'll leave a little bit there. So we got that, that. Make sure all this is good, nice. I'm gonna go back to black tape just so I know that that's just keeping my harness together. Throw my black tape away. So we'll go back to white. All right, guys, so here is a rough overview of where we're at. Um, I've got this prepped. I'm not going to bother you with taping the whole thing from front to back. Um, I will probably do a quick layover and just show you where it lays out to be. Um, and then I'll give you a quick quick idea on how to test it I don't mine's on, on the ground right now so I can't test it right this second and the battery's about ready to die so that is the removal guys of your throttle override system on this is a 94 banshee as you can see I got the round plugs um, I believe 97 and newer is the same with the square plugs but I didn't actually do the one on the one we have here uh, somebody else did before we bought it so um, that is a quick quick layover like I said maybe in the future we'll, we'll do a harness for it um, and then I'll get set up really quick and show you guys what that looks like as far as doing a test um, and I'll walk you through how to do that and uh, yeah so like I say again guys any questions you might have for me at all throw them my way uh, happy to answer them but that that's what we're looking at I, I look all over for about an hour um, I never found a great a great way to do that so that's kind of where we came up with the idea of the content for today and um, yeah from here we'll like I said I'll hurry and plug it in just roughly uh, show you the connection points what you'd need to test it and what that would look like from where we stand right this second okay so guys um camera died so i took a little bit of time and did some brake stuff um that'll end up on a separate video but i did make some adjustments so we got steering stem and a couple things also in there um we'll try to keep that out of the way for video's sake so in order to check the spark um, if this was hooked up to the handlebar, when you cut it off, it should ground out to the handlebar and that should kill your spark. But if you want to make sure it'll work right now, um, with the run position on, with your handle switch, your key switch here would need to be hooked up as well. 
your coil down here, spark plugs here, uh, your boots. That's actually going to be the way you test it. And then at the back, you're going to have your voltage regulator here, ground voltage regulator plugged in there and then your two plugs for your CDI so CDI voltage regulator stator uh, your coil your kill switch and your key switch with all those plugged in and hooked up in the handlebars where they need to be if um, for sake of time, let me see if I have a spark plug going around. And of course I have a brick of these, so I could say guys if all that checks out, you can ground your spark plug out there throw your kick over without your tank on you can look down you can see it um, you should be able to see a spark right in between the end and the electrode so like I said I'm not really in a position to kick mine over um, being up on a stand and no wheels and all that so I can check that later and show you guys what I'm talking about but that'll be in a later video um, and then I, once it's done I can reference that either in the comments or the description um, for you guys so that's where that's at um, we'll take some time get the rest of this all dialed up taped up routed and yeah, I'll probably show that off on the next video just for sake of time. Uh, so, yeah, that's kind of where it's at. But that's overall, that's your throttle override system. Delete on pre-97 Banshees. Um, yeah, like I said, if you guys have any questions, throw them at me. Happy to answer them. So. Guys, just wanted to let you know how grateful I am. Uh, this is Always Looking for Adventure on YouTube. I'm Quaid. Um, just want to say thank you for the support. Thank you for your time, the views. Um, just thank you guys for being there for us and checking out our videos. I know we're just getting a start on it, so wanted to say thank you. Uh, like and subscribe our channel. Keep up. We've got way more projects to come, so. Thank you guys for jumping on with us early and we're here for it and we're going to keep going. So remember for our first thousand subs, we're doing a hoodie giveaway. We've got 10 good, 10 hoodies with your name on them. So um, that'll be coming up pretty quick and we're just going to keep the content rolling guys. So thanks for being here. Thanks for your support and we'll catch you on the next one.